Okay, so I've gone through some of the comments of the last video that I made about uh, talking about steps to take if you're uh, depressed or have anxiety. And uh, I was basically saying it came out really obnoxious, okay? I fucking do that sometimes. Slash a lot. Uh, but it's because like it's so, I am uh, I just being real with you. I am so disgusted by laziness um, It angers me Because like just in general as a human race There has been no better time in the history of the human race to be alive There have, there have never been as many opportunities For people to succeed to set goals to achieve them and to find happiness never in the history of the world has there been as many opportunities to live your dreams as there are right now in this world. So just knowing that and knowing what success I have been able to find, and I know a lot of you guys won't believe this, but I've been a fucking disorganized, clusterfuck, procrastinating, tardy fucking jackass my whole life. Like, so I'm the way I approach all this shit, all of this life coaching that I try to do on here and all of this, you know, the help that I hope to give to others. I'm, here's my philosophy. If a fucking idiot like me could do it, then so can you. Um, you guys have no idea what an idiot I've been and how pathetic I've been and how incompetent I have felt and insecure that I have been how bullied that I have been in my life. And so I just, it's just like, well, if I can do it, why the fuck can't you? And I will say though, that I had amazing parenting. And so now it's like finally embracing my parenting, what my parents gave me growing up, just taking all of the things that they gave to me, taught me, and combined with the Marine Corps, what they gave me. It's like, yeah, of course, I, if I didn't find success, then I'd be really pathetic. But many of you did not have the upbringing that I have and have not had the opportunities that have been afforded to me. And so to those of you, I would say, well, just, <laughs> I, hope, I hope you're only pissed off, Google um, people who dealt with immense tragedy and trauma, sexually assaulted as children, got the fuck beat out of them as children by abusive parents who were neglected and who found insane success. Just look at that. And then it's like, well, now you know. Okay, well, shit. This guy's dad beat the fuck out of him four nights a week. And this guy's a billionaire now. So I guess I could do it. Or like, you know, this girl was sexually assaulted by her uncle when she was six and then again at 12 and then in college at 20 and then in the Marine Corps four more times. It's like, and now she is running this company and employs many people and is living her dream and has founded men and now she's a motivational speaker. So it's like, well, if she could do it, if she could come from that kind of tragedy, pain, suffering, trauma, and find this level of success, well, I guess it's possible. So that, knowing that, I get angry. I get frustrated when I see pathetic shit. And, um, there are many people who will not be helped by my words because they have a massive chemical imbalance in the brain that all of the things that I recommend, it's just not gonna fucking work on. So I wanna make sure that I acknowledge that. Like, my shit ain't for everyone. Um, and my shit is not always, um, you know, it's not nice. Uh, all the time and it's not um, understanding a lot um, and it's often abrasive and obnoxious and I know that um, but it, it comes from a desire to help others um, set goals and achieve them all with the intent of finding happiness on a daily basis like it is possible for you to come into every day and be fucking stoked about it right there are plenty of people who you know did horrible shit and live with immense guilt and shame and then were able to get past it and find happiness there are plenty of people whose horrible things happened to them or to their family that they didn't have control of 
And that shit will wreck your mind. It'll re, it literally, traumatic events can rewire your brain. The, the fucking, the neurons in here, the, the tubes of electricity, they're not right. And, um, and so I acknowledge that. And that's why I say I don't have all the, the, the fucking answers and my shit's not for everyone. My shit is for the people, honestly, like me, who, who have always had potential, who've always had ability. They just never s stepped out of their comfort zone long enough to actually recognize what they're capable of. And when they did get out of their comfort zone, they quit too soon, right? A lot of people. They step out of the comfort zone, they try this thing, and then they, they're like, oh, I can't do it, it's not for me. And when I hear that, I just get annoyed. I'm like, you're pathetic. I don't want to be around you, right? Like, I'm not, I, I should, you should not, uh, let me just fucking warning. You should not listen to me. If you are at like, if you have a massive, massive fucking chemical imbalance in your brain and massive rewiring of your brain, I would recommend do not listen to me. Only listen to me if deep down, you know that you're a lazy fuck. Deep down, you know that you quit too easily, just weak. Deep down, you know that the reason that you don't achieve all of these things is because you have no discipline, right? You can't actually set a goal for yourself. Say, I'm going to do this tomorrow at 7 a.m. and then actually do it, right? That, those are the people that I speak to. People who just, who know it, it all comes to discipline. You don't need motivation. You just need to set a goal and then have the discipline to, well, no, you have to set the goal, create the plan, and then have the discipline to execute. You don't need motivation. That's where discipline comes in. So people ask, well, how do I get motivation? I don't know. Don't ask me. <laughs> ask me specific questions about goal setting and plan creation. And if it comes to, if you have a question about discipline, it's this, here's, here's my answer. If you do not have discipline, you will not love yourself and you will impede your ability to love other people. Because without discipline, that means you let yourself down. Every day when you hit the snooze button, you let yourself down. Because you're, eh, eh, eh. you just said it's okay to be lazy today. So that's the majority of people. And that was me for 36 fucking years. And if I could change it, then so can fucking you. And if you can change it sooner than me, then you can find success way fucking greater than mine. And I haven't achieved financial success. I have achieved happiness because I, I shot for my goals and made my dreams reality. So I have happiness. I do not have money. I blew all my money on that TV. It's gone. It might come back to me really fucking big one day or it might be burned down the tubes. Um, but I took the risk and... I created a plan, I dreamed, I created a plan, I executed with discipline, and because of that, I'm happy. When I go to sleep at night, and this is, this is what guides me, and so when people ask about motivation, discipline, well, when you are alone, and you need to be alone sometimes, when you are alone, the lights are out, and it's you and your thoughts in your bed staring at the ceiling, how do you feel about yourself? When you actually think about your day, uh, what are you proud of what you did on that day? And if you are not proud, then you need to fix something. And you need to tell yourself, ah, oh, God damn it. I said I was going to do this, this, and this today. Fucking, I didn't do it because of this. To be honest with you, I didn't do it because uh, I was checking social media. I was watching TV. Or a friend hit me up, and I had a two hour conversation with a friend when I was supposed to be doing these things, right? I could have postponed the conversation for later, but I, I did it. I took it then because I didn't feel like doing the other things. Right? Be honest with yourself and then tell yourself, okay, I will not make that mistake again. I identify that those were mistakes and I will not make those mistakes tomorrow. And if you keep telling yourself that every night before the next day, and then you actually make good on your promises to yourself, you will find happiness. Just setting some goals to do in the morning on any given day if you actually do the things, I'm going to wake up at this time and I'm going to do this and then I'm going to go for a walk 
Doesn't need to be crazy Rudy Reyes style PT. Just go for a walk. Just set the goal. I'm going to do this and then I'm going to do that and I'm going to do that. If you actually do it, you'll feel better. You'd be amazed. So, um, yeah, all I was trying to say yesterday with that post was um, that you need to take action. Take action. And the action starts with research. Right? Uh, and I'll, I'll throw this out there in a less obnoxious way. You like how I've calmed my tone down, right? Because I'm trying to be self-aware and shit. Because sometimes I look back at my videos and I'm like, oh, what a fucking asshole. Ugh. Um, I'll watch a video and be like, oh, I look sick as fuck sometimes. Or I'll, look, I'll watch a video and be like, God, I hate me in that video. Oh, what was my problem? Right? So I, I feel that emotion and I readjust. That's why I'm calm now. <laughs> um, so I recommend that you have an, a subscription to Audible. Audible.com. It's $15 a month. Guaranteed you have Netflix, Spotify, Pandora, Hulu, HBO, Amazon Prime, you name it. But why don't you have a subscription to audible.com, which will provide you with at least one audiobook a month that will improve the quality of your life? Why not? Is it because you're a lazy fuck? Is it because you don't have the discipline to listen to books that can help you? Why? Why don't you have a subscription to Audible? If you actually want a better life. The only thing I can think of is because you're a lazy, undisciplined fuck. There I go again. I just got obnoxious. I got to stop. Anyways, um, I hope you understand what I was going for. I want to compel you. Those who follow me and appreciate what I do and like listening to what I have to say. I want to compel you to take actions. To set, to dream. To set goals. To create plans. And then execute on the plans. Because if you can do those things, you can make your life exactly what you want it to be. Um, and be careful listening to me if you have the most serious mental health issues. Be very, very careful. Um, because my shit's a little too abrasive, I think, for, for those of you who fall into that category. I think, listen to me if deep down you know you're a lazy fuck. Undisciplined. Then listen to me all motherfucking day because I will try to, I will provide you with things that can um, help you live the life that you want to live. And uh, you got to define what that means, by the way. That's a whole nother thing. All right. Um, Thank you for watching and following and commenting and showing gratitude on my shit. Um, And uh, have an awesome day and keep keep, uh, creating plans and executing. And being nice to each other. Because feelings matter. Those who think feelings don't matter, well, how many of the 22 thought feelings didn't matter for a couple decades? Think about that one. Peace and love.